My second daughter arrived in July 2003. It was so beautiful to watch our eldest daughter, four years old, loving and doting on her little sister. My husband and I were filled with joy. Our family was complete. When our baby was one month old, the outbursts of tears began. I didn't know why. What was wrong with me? Snap out of it. Why did I have kids? This slowly turned into resentment and helplessness. For a year, I wore a mask, pretended everything was okay. September 2004, the mask dropped. There were times where all I could do was lie on the floor, curled up in the fetal position. I cried for help to stop the pain. In our foyer, I sat waiting for my five-year-old daughter to come home from school. My heart was pounding. I felt it would explode through my chest. I found it difficult to breathe. Fast, slow, stopping, starting. I was filled with fear. When she arrived home, it would take every ounce of my energy to appear together. Still, the tears would keep coming. Her beautiful blue eyes would fill up with fear and panic. Mommy, it's going to be okay. You're okay, she would say. I was causing so much pain for my family. In October 2004, I felt this overwhelming need to end my existence. This was my first real thought of suicide. After grabbing a ton of different medications, I realized I couldn't do it. I found the 24-hour crisis line 403-266-HELP-4357 in the front of the yellow pages and dialed. I was scared. I didn't know what to do or say. I can't remember the conversation, but I was relieved. Someone might hear me. Someone might care. The lady on the other end of the phone was calm, gentle. I felt her compassion, understanding, and kindness. I felt accepted and cared for as she listened to my words through the tears. She stayed on their line until my husband arrived home. Then he was instructed to take me to the South Calgary Medical Center. On Monday, October 25th, I was admitted into the psychiatric ward. I was a patient for three weeks. November 30th, I continued as an outpatient at the hospital day program. Today, my beautiful daughters are eight and 12. My loving husband of 16 years continues to support and love me through bouts of depression. I'm a proud advocate for mental illness and suicide awareness. Live with pure intention, compassion, kindness, and generosity. Embrace and accept yourself with grace and love. Be grateful for you and all you hold near and dear and show that gratitude. Wake each morning, look at yourself in the mirror and smile. You are not alone.